गजाननम भूतगनादि सेवितम कपित जंबो पलसार बक्षितम उमा सुतम शोक विनाश कारणम नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकजम शराननम कुंकुम रक्त वर्णम महामतिं दिव्य मयूर वाहनम रुद्रस्य सुनम सुरसेन्य नातम गुहम सदाहम शरणम प्रपते या कुंदेन्द्र तुषार हार दबला या शुभ्र वस्त्राविता या वीणा वरदंड मंडित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्माचुत शंकर प्रपृतिबी देवाय सदा पूजिता सामाम पातु सरस्वती पक्वती निशेष जड़िया पहा ओम नमः शिवाय गुरुवे सच्चिदानंद मूर्ताय निष्प्रपंचाय शांताय श्री शिवानंदा यते नमः श्री विष्णु देवानंदा यते नमः ओम सर्व मंगल मंगले शिवे सर्वार्थ साधिके शरणे प्रयम्बके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओम शांति 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 Lie down on your back in Shavasana. Separate your arms apart, legs apart. Relax the shoulders down and tuck the chin in. Allow the body to sink to the mat. Bring the awareness to your breath. With the inhalation, feel the abdomen rise up. And as you exhale, squeeze the abdomen towards the spine and release the breath. Breathe with me. Inhale. Feel the energy move into the body. Exhale, release all the tightness. One more breath. And on the next inhalation, bring the legs together, stretch your arms over the head, interlock your fingers and give a nice deep stretch to the body. Slowly roll over to the right side and sit up in a comfortable position for the prayer. Close your eyes, sit up straight, keep the chin parallel to the mat. Put the hands on your knees in the chin mudra. We start with chanting Om three times. So take a deep breath. Om. Om. Relax your body and get ready for the Kapalabhati practice. Bring the awareness to the abdomen. Inhale, the abdomen comes out. And exhale, forcefully pull the abdomen in. 
So on the count one, keep exhaling out forcefully and actively. Let's begin with the practice. Deeply inhale and begin. One, 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 relax, normal breath. Now to hold the breath briefly, take a deep breath, inhale, three fourth of your lungs and gently hold the breath. Keep the eyes closed, focus at a point between the eyebrows, relax the mind, relax the body. This practice cleanses and strengthens the lungs, helps drain the sinuses, body gets increased supply of oxygen, it also strengthens the abdominal organs and improves the digestion. With control, slowly exhale and relax. Now place the right hand in the Vishnu Mudra for the alternate nostril breathing or the Anuloma Viloma practice. Deeply inhale, exhale. Block the right nostril with your right thumb through the left. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils gently. Right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Focus in between the eyebrows at a point. Through the left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. Close the nostrils. Sit up straight from the base of the spine. Roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the chest open, shoulders relaxed. Through the right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain. Close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Left inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain. Close the nostrils. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Right inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain. Through the left, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Left inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Relax your forehead, drop the skin of the forehead down, soften your eyes, soften your face. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Right inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently retain. Feel the spine. Feel your whole body. Holding no tension anywhere in the body. Through the right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Right inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. This is the last retention.
Through the lift, exhale Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Release the right hand down. Stay there for a breath. Relax the body. Keep your eyes closed. Now stretching the legs forward, gently roll back in Shavasana. Your arms apart, legs apart. Relax the whole body. This practice cleanses and strengthens the lungs, helps calm the mind, balances the breath and both the hemispheres of the brain. Now take a deep breath, bring the legs together, interlock your hands up over the head and stretch the whole body. Squeeze the abdomen, press the spine down, release, roll over to the right and stand up for the sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. Bring your feet together and hands to the chest into the prayer position. Relax the shoulders and the elbows down. Inhale, stretch your arms up in line with the ears and gently arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and bend down, keeping the toes and fingers in one line. You may need to bend the knees. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, right knee on the mat and right thigh pushing towards the mat. Left knee is in line with the left ankle. Stretch the chin up gently. Hold the breath, take the left leg back into the plank, body in a straight line. Exhale, drop the knees down, chest down and the forehead down. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up into the cobra, relax the shoulders down and keep the lower abdomen on the mat. Exhale, tuck the toes in and lift the hips up into the Parvatasana. Push the heels down, push the mat forward with your hands, tuck the abdomen in. And look to the toes or the navel. Inhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands, left knee down and look up. Exhale, bring the left leg forward, press the hands down, try to bring the chest closer to the legs and head to the knees. Inhale, lengthen forward with your spine, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, release. Repeating the sequence on the left. Bring your hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and gently arch back. Exhale, stretch forward, reach down. Press your palms down. Inhale, take the left leg back, left knee on the mat, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, rub the knees down, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into the cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips up, look to the toes. Inhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands, right knee on the mat, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press your hands down. Stretch forward, inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale. We'll do one more round of Surya Namaskar, getting ready for the right side. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale. Stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale. Lengthen forward and reach down. Right leg back. Inhale. Look up. Hold the breath. Left leg back. Body in a straight line. Exhale, knees down, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward into the cobra. Exhale, up into the Parvatasan. Right leg, inhale, forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Stretch forward, inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale. On the left, feet together, inhale. Exhale, hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down. Left leg back, inhale, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, forward into the cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and look to the toes into the Parvatasana. Left leg forward, inhale, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Stretch forward, inhale, reach up and arch back. Exhale, release. 
Slowly, gently lie down, relax on your back in Shavasan, arms apart, legs apart. Slow down the breathing. Surya Namaskar is a warm-up exercise which needs to be practiced before starting the other asanas. It increases the flexibility of the spine and the limbs. Now take a deep breath, inhale and give a long stretch to the body. Get ready for the single leg raises. Your feet together, arms close to the body, chin towards the chest. Inhale, raise the right leg up as far as the knee can remain straight. Pull all the toes in and press the spine down. With control, exhale, bring the leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. And exhale, slowly release. Inhale, right leg up. Keep pressing the spine down. Watch your knees, watch the toes. Relax your shoulders down. Exhale, release the leg down. Left leg up, inhale. And exhale, slowly release the leg down. Now inhale, lift the right leg up, catch hold behind the right leg, keep the chin in. On the exhalation, lift the head up, chest up, keeping the knees straight, walk the hands more up, release the shoulders away from the ears, squeeze the abdomen, pushing the lower back down. Keep the chest open, open the elbows apart. Slowly exhale, release the head down and release the leg straight down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, catch hold behind the leg and on the exhalation, lift the head up, chest up, breathe here. Relax the neck and the shoulders, both the legs are equally active, right leg nicely pressing down. This practice strengthens the abdomen and the back muscles, tones the legs. Slowly exhale, release the head down, chest down and release the leg down. Relax in Shavasana for two deep breaths. Inhale deeply, give a nice stretch to the body and prepare for the Sarvang Asan shoulder stand. Your feet together, arms close to the body. Inhale, lift the legs 90 degrees up, lift the hips up and support the back with your hands. Straighten the body. Move the elbows closer and walk the hands towards the shoulder blades. Try to rest your body on the shoulders, fingers point towards the spine. Relax your legs, relax your face and breathe deeply. Shoulder stand. Regulates the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. It keeps the spine strong and elastic. It drains the stagnant blood from the legs, thus helping with the varicose veins. Strengthens the heart and the weight is also regulated. We get ready for the variations. Take a deep inhale and on the exhalation release the right leg over the head into the Ardhalasan. Inhale the right leg up and exhale release the left leg over the head. You may try reaching the toes to the floor. Inhale get the left leg up, lengthen the body. And on the exhalation, release both the legs over behind the head into the Hal Asana Plow Pose. If the toes touch down, you may release the support from the back and place the hands flat down parallel to each other or you can try interlocking the hands away from the body. Keep the knees straight, point the toes towards the head and straighten the spine more by lifting the tailbone to the ceiling. Hold the posture. Try to relax the body. Breathe deeply. It is a forward bend which stretches the entire spine, massages the internal organs and relieves indigestion and constipation. It relieves insomnia. Now to release the posture, bring the hands to the mat. Raise the feet up few inches from the floor using the hands as brakes, keeping the head on the mat. Gently roll out one vertebra at a time. 
Roll the head side to side and relax for a deep breath. Giving a counter stretch to the spine, Matsyasan the fish pose. Keep the feet together, bring the arms under the body with palms flat under the thighs. Inhale, sit up on your elbows and exhale, release the top of the head very gently on the mat. Your body weight rests on the elbows. Breathe deeply, dig the elbows deeper down, open the chest more. Hold the posture and enjoy the breathing. This asana removes the stiffness from the cervical, thoracic and the lumbar regions, corrects the round shoulders, increases the lungs capacity, relieves asthma. To release the posture slowly, release the head down, relax in Shavasana. Roll the wrists clockwise and anti-clockwise. Turn the head side to side and relax your body. Take a deep breath, inhale. Give a nice, long, deep stretch to the body. Gently roll over and sit up for the Pashim Uttanasana, sitting forward bend. Stretch both the legs out, pull the toes up towards the head, lengthen the spine from the base. Inhale, stretch your arms up, retaining the stretch, keeping the arms in line with the ears. On the exhalation, stretch forward, bending from the hips and reach forward with your spine. Hold the legs wherever possible. Try to reach to the toes, keeping the knees straight and the back as straight as possible. With the inhalation, feel the spine stretching and with the exhalation, try to release the chest closer to the thighs. Relax your neck, back and the shoulders. Breathe deep into the abdomen. Don't let the legs to rotate outwards. This is a posture of complete surrender of the mind and the body. So simply let go and hold wherever you are comfortable. Feel the back stretching from neck to the heels. This asana invigorates the internal abdominal organs, thus improving digestion, reducing the body fat, controlling the blood sugar levels. Now to come out of the posture, inhale, lift your arms up and exhale slowly. Release the hands behind the body, fingers away from the body to give a counter stretch. Purva Uttanasana, the inclined plane. Inhale, lift your hips up, get the feet flat down and release the head back. Try to push the hips high up to touch the feet down. Breathe. Release the posture and roll over onto the abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands, relax your head to the right side. Your big toes touch together and heels fall apart. Take two deep breaths into the abdomen. Getting ready for the Bhujang Asan, the Cobra. Bring the feet together. Place the forehead down. Get the hands under the shoulders with elbows pointing up. Inhale. Lift the head up, chest up. Roll the body up and back. Keep the lower abdomen pressing down and push the chest forward. Relax the shoulders down, relax the neck and breathe. Slowly exhale, lower the body gently down and relax the head, turn to the left. It helps in curing asthma, tones the spine, relieves the back pain, massages and tones the abdominal organs. In women, it gives relief from the disorders related to the reproductive organs. Thanurasan, the both bring the forehead down, bend the knees, catch hold of the ankles. Separate the knees hip distance apart. Inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up and the chest up. Stretch the chin up. Keep the elbows straight. The whole body is resting on the abdomen. Try to lift the pelvic bones off the mat, the chest, the ribcage off the mat. Try to straighten the knees more. Breathe. Hold the posture. Keep the eyes closed. This asana works on the entire spine. 
all the internal organs especially in the abdomen reduces fat helps cure diabetes slowly exhale release the posture place the hands under the shoulders and stretch back into the child pose balasan if the hips don't reach down to the heels fist your hands under the head you may also separate the knees apart breathe deep into the spine this is a counter stretch after the back bends relax the spine completely releasing the posture sit up straight with the legs together for the ardha masendra asana the half spinal twist stretch the legs straight out in front of the body bend the left knee put the left foot flat on the floor on the outer side of the right leg bring the left arm to the floor behind the back inhale lift the right arm up and exhale lean push the knee with your upper arm to catch hold of the left ankle look over the left shoulder breathe and hold the posture keep opening the chest try to move the left shoulder a little more back it keeps the spine elastic gives a lateral stretch to the spine it gives an increased supply of blood and oxygen to the vertebrae to release the posture inhale lift the right arm up and exhale release the hand down now for the other side stretch the legs out bend the right knee put the right foot flat on the floor on the outer side of the left leg bring the right arm to the floor behind the back inhale lift the left arm up and exhale lean forward push the knee with your upper arm to catch hold of the right ankle look over the right shoulder breathe into the posture and hold This posture also massages the abdominal organs, stimulates the large intestine, improves digestion, reduces fat from the hips, thighs and the abdomen. With every inhalation, lengthen up more. And with every exhalation, try to twist the body more, opening the chest parallel to the wall that you face. To release, inhale, get the left arm up. and exhale release the arm down hug both the knees tightly to the chest sit up straight from the base of the spine drop the shoulders down inhale stretch the chin up and exhale release the chin to the chest back to the center exhale look over the right shoulder inhale come back and exhale look over the left shoulder release and stand up for the balancing posture riksh asan the tree Stand with your feet together, knees straight and back straight. Bend the right knee and place the right foot anywhere along the left leg. Move the right knee away from the body. Ground the left foot evenly and firmly down to the floor. First find your balance. Now get the hands to the chest into the prayer position. Focus at a point in front or to the floor. If you're comfortable enough, lift your arms up into the prayer position. your elbows is straight and palms pressing against each other keep breathing this asana improves balance of the mind and the body strengthens and tones the hips and the legs slowly release the posture please repeat it on the other side it also strengthens the ligaments and tendons of the feet stretches the spine slowly come out and prepare for the trikon asan triangle pose open the legs 3 to 4 feet apart it should be more than the shoulder width keep the feet parallel and the toes turned slightly inwards inhale stretch the left arm up along the left ear stretch it up from the waist and exhale from the waist bend down to the right side do not twist the body Slide the right arm down to the right leg. Your knees and arms should remain straight and there is no weight on the right arm. Look ahead, breathe. Feel the stretch from the outer edge of the left foot to the left fingertips. Now inhale, come up. 
and exhale release the arm release the posture for the other side inhale stretch the right arm up lengthen up from the waist and exhale stretch and bend to the left side it tones the spinal nerves and the abdominal organs lateral stretch in this posture keeps the spine elastic it promotes the flexibility of hips and legs keep breathing keep stretching slowly inhale come up and exhale release the arm down bring both the legs together in front and lie down on your back in shavasana for the final relaxation shake out your shoulders roll the head side to side get your arms at 45 degrees to the body with palms facing up legs are comfortably apart about half a meter shoulders away from the ears and the chin is tucked into the chest Relax all the facial muscles. Allow the spine to relax down. The toes fall sideways. Gently, softly, close your eyes and slow down the breath. Relax the breath. Mentally scan the body from toes to the head and release any tension that you are still carrying. Let go the mind. Relax. 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 Bring the awareness back to the body. Gently move the toes and the fingers. Take a deep breath. Bring the legs together and stretch the arms over the head. interlock your hands and stretch the whole body slowly roll over to the right side bend the knees and stay here for a breath support with your left hand and sit up in a comfortable position with your hands on the knees in the chin mudra relax the shoulders focus on the breath let's end the class by chanting om three times and a short prayer oh यजामहे सुगंधिं पुष्टिवर्धनम् उर्वारुक्मेव बंधनान् मृत्योर मुक्षिमाम्रिता ओम त्रयंबकम् यजामहे सुगंधिं पुष्टिवर्धनम् उर्वारुक्मेव बंधनान् मृत्योर मुक्षिमाम्रिता ओम त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमेव बंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षेमाता स्वस्तिर्भवतूर्ण मंगल सर्वे सुखि सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मकशदुखपागवे आस तो मदमया तम सोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मृतंग ओ पूर्णमता पूर्णमेद पूर्ण पूर्ण मुदश्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमाता पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ 
शांति 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 बोलो सदगुरु शिवानंद महाराज की जय स्वामी विष्णु देवानंद महाराज की जय हरिओम तत्सत